Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to another update on this Monday, January 29th, 2024. It's about 12.09 p.m. here, uh, California time. Latest activity looks like a 3.9 into the area of South America, also a 1.0 up here in Southern California. Uh, still seeing some earthquake activity around the Hawaii area and uh, right around the Kilauea Volcano Summit region. This is the past 12 hours of earthquake activity here quite the amount of movement taking place there around the summit area just south of the summit area of Kilauea volcano now things died down for a little bit uh late last night but they appear to have picked back up in terms of the uh, current activity uh, that's ongoing underneath the surface as of right now though no eruption uh, still seeing some volcanic gases there through the uh, tiniest of cracks at the summit area uh, the latest update that was put out today from the USGS uh, gives this statement that the volcano is currently not erupting, uh, although an increase in seismicity in the South Caldera region that started on Saturday is continuing. Uh, the summit re uh, region remains pressurized. Uh, in, in the recent months, unrest has escalated quickly and an eruption could occur in the future with little warning. So we're still kind of watching this, still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity. And um, the tilt meter, though, if you look at the tilt meter, we've been keeping an eye on this for a little while, uh, is doing a little something different than what we have seen in the past. Uh, since September, we've seen these periods of inflation followed up by some leveling off or deflation, and then the next inflation event larger than the previous one. Although this one, the most recent one, is not doing it. Uh, it's not following that same trend as what these other inflation um, levels did here in the past since uh, September of last year so it's a good possibility we're getting at the maybe a level where things are almost maxed out in terms of pressurization underneath the area um, so that's a scenario it's possible this could go up again but uh, just looking at this over the last few days uh, it looks a lot different than all the other previous inflation events so we'll continue to watch that uh, earthquake activity as you can see on the map quite a bit and it's still right there just south of the summit area you can see that little line of activity leading up towards the um, the summit and the lava lake area a lot of these earthquakes uh, just below the surface although we're looking at a little bit deeper movement here uh, this morning with uh, about one to two kilometers below the surface uh, indicating some deeper movement quakes here uh, so could be getting a little uh, flow a little push of magma further up towards the surface area we'll continue to watch that and report back on anything that changes out there uh, 4.5 out in the Puerto Rico area look at this I got a decent uh, little earthquake swarm, swarm out here across the Puerto Rico trench area uh, the latest of 4.5 coming into the region Got to watch this area pretty closely. I can see some uh, decent large earthquakes out here. It's been a little while, uh, but we got a specific little swarm out here northeast of the San Juan, Puerto Rico region. We'll definitely be watching that pretty closely. Um, far as the West Coast goes, as uh, far as California goes, um, looks like a typical day. Sunny, beautiful out here. It's supposed to be about 70 degrees here in Northern California where I'm at. Uh, earthquake activity looks very typical for the California region not seen any major earthquake activity or any unusual swarming activity just the typical microquake movement uh, along the plate boundary uh, Reno area looks like they've calmed down a little bit in terms of earthquake activity uh, the last one was a uh, 0.8 from yesterday late last night Pacific Northwest not a whole lot going on up there some smaller quake activity and a handful of earthquakes there across the Yellowstone region um, those earthquakes from yesterday Looks like they finally put uh, them up on the map. Let's see if we can uh, see anything else going on here across the area. Yeah, a couple of those earthquakes there. You can see them uh, last night here. Handful of smaller quakes and um, nothing big. As you can see, uh, I think the biggest was a uh, 2.0. Most of them in the one range around the Hebgen Lake area. All right, far as the rest of the states go, one little earthquake out in the New Madrid seismic zone from yesterday, a little 2.0. Aside from that, looks uh, quiet uh, for now. Uh, the rest of the models out here in terms of international quake activity 
Well, handful from yesterday and a handful from today. The latest um, 4.6 up here in the Japan area. I did see something coming in uh, to the area on the seismograph right now. It doesn't look like the USGS is picking up on it. Uh, but I think it's going to be... You know, it's possible it could be this 4.6 here, the deeper one. Maybe not. That's going to be uh, about 9 o'clock this morning. So that's an older quake. Uh, either way, there's some movement showing up there on the seismograph station around Japan. It uh, doesn't look big, just uh, probably some earthquake activity there. That is some deep movement, though, into this area, western side of Japan, out into the Japan Basin, close around there. Uh, what is this right here? Yamato Rise, it looks like. A little bit of uh, deeper movement triggering underneath this area. Uh, here's an earthquake from this morning as well. It looks like a 4.6, 63 kilometers deep here into the J Japan Trench. Continue to watch this here for some movement. Uh, deeper activity uh, can definitely strain regions upstream. All right, there's that 3.9 South America. Did see some activity uh, a little bit further south here along the Peru Chile Trench uh, earlier today, 4.5. This whole region has been showing quite a bit of uptick recently. Of course, we did have that. Uh, couple deeper quakes here in the last couple weeks up um, underneath the Brazil area and uh, still got to watch this region upstream where that 3.9 is coming in because we can see some larger quakes out there uh, in that area uh, up into the Alaska region there a handful of quakes as well 4.1 along the Aleutian Trench and uh, typical movement across the Mediterranean doesn't look like there's anything abnormal going on there uh, do have an earthquake in the Iran area, 4.4. That was late last night, though, just after midnight. As far as Iceland activity goes, let's go double-check that, see what we got for the latest earthquake activity up there. And uh, very minimal. About 18 earthquakes here in the last 12 hours. Uh, only a handful, two of them to be exact, uh, across the Grindavik area, around the Hagafell region. Uh, no major change there. Uh, let's see if we got any statement from the Icelandic Meteorological Office today. Uh, they should put something out unless unless it's quiet and it looks like uh it's staying quiet because this article was put out there a few days ago so no new update on that all right space weather activity did have some uh proton event activity here uh, earlier this morning from a decent size flare uh, that was uh oh on the uh western limb can kind of see that here on uh, Kevin's site. He's got a YouTube site as well, YouTube channel. Uh, but solarham.net is the site showing that uh, decent flare. That was a, uh, a long duration flare measuring a 6.8, M6.8, uh, which was from 3559. That did kick up some protons. And uh, goodness, they are hitting the uh, planet right now, mostly affecting the uh, regions south, south polar region, and a little bit up north as well. Um, and that, of course, does affect a lot of the uh, high frequency and low frequency navigation systems. Uh, if you're down or up in that region, pretty decent uh, proton event right now. Uh, and that was, uh, let's see here, we've got about 99% certainty. Obviously, that's uh, taking place right now. As far as further flaring goes, it's possible we could see some more uh, M-flaring activity from those far side sunspots, 3559 once again here. Today's image, the latest view, does show it uh, just barely on the western limb. That will continue to go out of sight, out of mind, and the threat will go with it. We're not uh, looking at anything major going on from these sunspots. Looking at a little train of activity here across the northeastern limb of the sun that we'll continue to watch maybe a little bit of complexity there within that core we'll keep an eye on but uh, i think we got a couple couple days here of quiet activity as far as the sunspots that are currently facing us um so that cme that did blast off from that flare this morning on the western limb um is calling for mostly a miss upstream uh with a potential glancing blow in the next 48 hours so we'll continue to watch that and see uh, if anything stirs up from that, I don't think it will. But uh, you never know. Let's see what we got here for the updated solar wind prediction. 
we'll probably see that uh there it is right there cme that was blasted off this morning looks like it's gonna miss earth definitely earth gonna be in this green little dot and uh as you can see there it's well off um away from us all right storm prediction center here for the uh weather outlook not a whole lot things look fairly quiet we do have a storm coming in i guess it decent low pressure system here bringing with it uh some rainfall rates there that are decent and uh, rainfall accumulation should kick up here uh with this storm system expected to hit us it looks like beginning on uh, maybe tuesday night into wednesday uh that is gonna hit the entire west coast out here bringing rain down to southern california as well and uh looks like some whoa looks looks like that storm system that was supposed to hit southern california has made a little adjustment uh, further north last night this model showed it hitting down south here but uh, looks like we're going to be included in this one as well i like that some decent rain and uh, southern california getting their share as well and after that well it's a guessing game because that's a couple weeks out into the middle of february but it does look like we're going to remain wet out here with the uh uh, these low uh, low pressure systems that are expected to hit us. Uh, rainfall accumulation rates here, pretty decent uh, across Northern California specifically. Looks like maybe, uh, whoa, is that right? Six inches of rain? Eee, that is crazy. This has gone up, way up since uh, the update this morning. Or uh, last night, excuse me. <laughs> um, that's a GFS model. Let's see what we got for the ECM WF model. Uh, a little bit less. But again, uh, that's, I like that. I like the um, precipitation amounts out here. Looks decent. So we'll continue to watch that. And uh, I'm ready. I need some more rain. I'm not done with winter yet. I'm ready for at least another month of wet, cold conditions. And then, uh, and then we can bring on spring. But uh, I think we, well, it doesn't really start warming up here until March, maybe. Who knows? Depends on what kind of weather year we're having. All right. Anyway, folks, um, keep an eye on Kilauea Volcano. Still seeing a lot of earthquake activity out there. Uh, I think it's only a matter of time before we see some eruptive fissure activity here. And I'm leaning more towards south uh, within this region where we're seeing the earthquake activity uh, in terms of eruptive fissure activity. But uh, we'll continue to watch that report back on changes uh, any changes that may take place. Have a good day. Gotta catch up on some schoolwork. We'll catch you guys back here later tonight. See you guys later.